Hello, Sawhorse video three. I'm um, just having a little tidy up here. Uh, I've built the both sets of legs and I'm going to join them up with some hinges and then put the chain across and then I've got to figure out how to put the top on. So I'm just having a little tidy up before I do that. So these are the chains that are going to go between the legs. Here are the hinges. Um, we'll, see. we'll see what happens. So. so look at these little things. Are oh, they posh? One there. One there. I'm not going to bother recessing them or anything. I'm going to get them roughly the right lengths. Roughly the same distance apart. About there, isn't it? So we'll say, what, three inches from the end? Three inches from that end then. Find a screw in there. One there. Just putting one in to begin with, just to almost like a little test fitting. That works. Okay. Put the rest in. As you Ta-da! Let's try a little test test drive. I mean, <laughs> that ain't awesome, is it? Oh man, why is that so wonky? Just perhaps it's twisted a bit. Oh well. Oh, I know. When I put the um, when I when I put the chains on, that should. If I make the chain nice and tight, that'll bring it down. Hopefully, so I put the chain on one side first. Make sure it's tight when it's out like this and then that will bring that other leg down it's going to go about there isn't it How can you see that if i make sure that that's pulling that down i think that will work Oh, fiddly. Come on. Okay, that's cool. About there, I reckon. Oh.
there. There's a screw. That's the one that needs pulling down. So let's get this one in. I think that's okay. So that angle there, that angle there has got to be something to do with that angle there. So that's 20 degrees in there. So that angle in there is going to be 20 degrees. So if I cut 20 degrees off, off that, that'll just sit on there. Is that right? <laughs> How am I going to fix that to there? Uh, do I get it in the middle or do I have it off to one side like that? So I could just fix it on there like that. A bit wonk y. And then just cut 20 degrees off there. Right, so I figured out what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Obviously, the angle down here is 20 degrees. So that's 20 degrees from flat. So if I stick that on there like that, and then cut 20 degrees off there, where that line is, roughly. I'll redo that in a minute. Um, then we should be OK. So I've cut both of these. The question is, is that flat? So to test it, of course, we put this on top. Are you ready? Do you know, I would say that's pretty damn good. So happy with that. Now I just got to figure out a way of affixing, fixing this to the top. And again, we sort of need some sort of lug. So, some sort of groove in there, chop a groove out in there. I could router that out maybe. Mm. I could router it out if I hadn't already hinged it. They get in the way of the router, so that's not an option. I could just pop the screws off and yeah, take that out router trench hmm 
router could be my friend here. Right, we'll try that. Right, so we're going to have some uh, serious router based fun. So let's get to his little. Uh, there he is. So let's get this out. I always hurt myself doing this somehow. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's tightening. Sorry. Hang on. There we go. And it goes tight again. So you loosen it off, it goes loose for two turns, and, it goes, and then it goes loose. And there we are, that's that one out. I've got my box of router bits here, so I'll see if I've got a nice fat one that's going to cut me a nice groove. Look at that one there, how about that? Huh? Is that going to cut a nice groove in there? Yes, it will. That is the one. So, put that in there. It's nice and tight. Uh, if you can rotate this thing, then you can get it a little bit deeper, maybe. Although I think, yeah, that's the maximum depth on this thing. So that there, so we've got a depth there of oh nearly two two centimeters, so eighteen mil, eighteen mil. So that's going to go through there. Is this up? Nip it in there like that. Then I should then we'll put this in. Dictate how far across that goes, like so. Ooh, look at me! I'm like a professional. <laughs> so that goes in like that, and that. I tell you what, that's pretty darn good, right there. All right, so that's good. That's done, and now I want to mark up how far I want to go. So don't want to go all the way to the end here. So let's go in about what? Well three inches that's where the six inches from the end. Go to about there. So route that out and stop there. Safety first. I'm not going to do it all in one pass, so I'm just turning on this depth thing in me. Yeah, that's about halfway, right? So that'll stop me going all the way. Oh, I'm going to plug it in. <laughs> uh, okay, we've got power. Hold on to your hats. What's that? Speed? Mm -hmm. Five's good. Six is good. Second pass.
about as deep as it goes. Sometimes it gets blooming stuck. Right, ah, I've got more depth to go. What? Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> I got away with that because that didn't punch through the front. So when the block's on the top, nobody's gonna see that, except you lot, of course. What? That's because I thought I could just plunge that down and obviously I can't. So let's try again. I've got to actually do this right and not completely wrong like an idiot. So if we forget about that, just look at that, that is a pretty, pretty decent groove. I will square the edges with a chisel. Let's do the other one, okay, while we're here. I'll just um, stop it while I get set up. Well, come on then, you want it to be in the video. No, I don't anymore. Okay, bye. Lots of love. Gate contribution from Scarlet there. Okay. <sighs> See what I've got to live with? Anyway. Right. Number two. So we will set the depth restrictor, which will stop me going in too far. In fact, I could even do one more click. No. Gotta be that one. Look at that bad boy. Mm -mm. Slight wobble there. <laughs> How do you not love routering? Ladies and gentlemen, the Bosch POF 1200AE. Yeah, there is dust absolutely everywhere. I'm going to put a polythene sheet down there. Stop everything going on my shelves. Should have done that years ago, maybe. But anyway, right, a bit of tidying up with the chisel. Uh, well, maybe I won't bother, actually, because you won't see it. So I'll just make sure that the tab is shorter than the groove, and then I don't have to bother chiseling. 
Yes. Yes. That's what I'll do. Okay, I'll figure this out. Perhaps I'll do a time lapse now and then uh, see you on the other side. Awesome routering. Router action. Mm. Right. <clears throat> so I found the center there. Found the center there. Transferred that onto there. And then I've marked how far I need to go with my lug. So now it's a case of removing a lot of material um, but leaving the <laughs> leaving the bit sticking out. That's a lot of material to remove. But I guess that's what we've got to do. Okay, so it's all marked up and it's all set, sorry, it's all set um, that I can just sweep all the way down here and take all that off in one go and that will leave the right line for the lug to stick out. Um, I'm just going to drop that down a little bit because I don't want the lug to be as deep or even slightly deeper than the trench, the little furrow that I've dug. So if I slide this line down a little bit, then it, it absolutely won't go that far. Uh, at least that's the idea. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to put you on time lapse for all that business. <laughs> you see that all right does it fit on there and the answer is oh does it ever woohoo that absolutely positively is freaking awesome okay I'm gonna do the other one uh, I won't show you the other one is it's just the same as this one but um, when we're getting them back together I'll see you then <laughs> 